Today I'm heading to one of my favorite places in the entire world. I'm heading to Sosisvle here in Namibia. Sosisvle is unreal. It's those red dunes you've seen in all the famous pictures of Namibia. Deadvle is also in that area, and I'm so, so stoked. So stoked to be going back there. So let's hit the road and make it to Sosisvle. So I was just booking it down this road and uh, I, I guess I must have hit a rock or something. I've been in Africa for two weeks and I'm on flat tire number two already. This one's not coming back. This one's not getting repaired. It's got a massive hole in it. So that's pretty nasty. The spare tire's going on now and then hopefully I can find a shop somewhere along the way or, or near Sosa's Play to put a new tire on. The tires changed, I got the spare on. I really have to be careful now. This is like the middle of nowhere. The whole time I've been sitting here and basically the whole time I've been driving, I've only seen, well, I haven't seen a single vehicle. So uh, um, yeah, it's not a kind place to break down. I've got 200 kilometers to go on the spare tire. I'm gonna take it really easy uh, and wish for the best. So yeah, here's hoping I can find a mechanic with a spare tire on the way, but I, I'm not, too hopeful of that because yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere, but let's keep cruising. So I made it to Sosa's Play. I'm at my campsite. I've just got to set up my tent and then I'm gonna head into the dunes. It's just as incredible as I remember it. Unbelievable here. Tents up, let's go chase some dunes. So I'm here in the park and I've come to a place called Dead Play, or at least I've tried to come to a place called Dead Play. And I'm sorry about the wind noise, but it's the desert and the desert's always windy. Anyways, I got some bad news here and that's that the shuttles that run in are already stopped. I was hoping to shoot sunset here. That's basically gonna be impossible. The gates close at eight. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's about five o'clock or six o'clock or something like that. And it's four kilometers down this road. You can only get there in a four by four. I only have the tiny little car, so I'm gonna risk it anyway. I'm gonna hike four kilometers into Dead Play and then hope, hope, hope that there's a car that can pull me out or take me out, a four by four I can hitch a ride with. If not, I'll have to run out. Let's go. I only have like a half a kilometer to go and uh, a park warden went by and was like, I will drive you to the entrance. five after six, a full hour walk and full hour back to camp. So I gotta get moving. I probably have to jog it out to make it back in time without getting fined. It's like a $200 fine if I'm late. So I gotta move. I'll come back here in a couple days We give myself some more time to actually shoot it. This was a terrible idea coming here today. <laughs> I managed to hitch a ride with a French family like uh, a quarter of the way back. So it saved me like 15 minutes of hiking. The, the light's amazing, but I don't think I have time to shoot anything. So I'm going to sleep or after I eat something and I'm gonna shoot some stars if it doesn't cloud over, but it might. And then I'm carrying this episode over tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning at sunrise. It's just before dawn and instead of going into the dunes, I decided I'm going to come to a place called Cesarium Canyon to do some shooting. I came here when I was here last time, but I didn't photograph it. So I thought it'd be a little bit of a change. And since I got three days here, it's, 
it's nice to have a little bit of diversity to your experience as your and your photos. So uh, let's head into the canyon. It's funny how photography is sometimes. I came down here to Cesarium Canyon and in the morning at dawn, I was struggling. I was really struggling. I couldn't find the right lines. I couldn't find the right light. I couldn't find the right composition. And I was starting to feel like it was a waste and I should have gone into the dunes. And then I walked a little bit longer and I just found light. And the light is popping off behind me on this tree. It's just perfect. And I, I am so stoked with how things are going this morning. Anyways, I'm done here in the canyon. I'm gonna head back to the lodge, spend the rest of the day there. I'm gonna get breakfast, hang out by the pool, maybe catch up on some work, and then head back into the dunes for sunset. I've had a pretty relaxing day. I'm, I chilled out a little bit. I got a lot of work done today, which was fantastic. And uh, I managed to get the tire changed on this car. So that's, that's really great. Um, I really love really love these landscape photography days because you can kind of just relax in the middle of the day when the heat's going on and get work done and then shoot at the golden hour so i feel like i get a lot of work done on these days um it's three now and so i'm gonna head back into the park and see if i can photograph some dunes tonight and i'm looking forward to it so it's about 4,000 degrees, but for some reason in my head, it seemed like this would be a good idea. I'm gonna climb Dune 45, which is like the classic tourist thing to do here in Sosa's Play. Bad idea, but let's do it. At least it's exercise, I guess. I think hiking Dune 45 was a bit of a mistake. It drained all my energy, it's just crushed me. And now I'm tired and I wanna sleep. But it's photo hour. It's an hour until sunset and the light's beautiful. There's no clouds, but that's the desert. So uh, I guess it's time to shoot some photos. the car. I'm gonna film this from inside because it's so freaking windy out there. Wow it's windy out there. Um, but that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun actually. I say this probably a lot but I think every single time I go out and shoot on a day where I've just been exhausted and don't want to shoot it ends up being a lot of fun and worth it and it makes it easier. I get asked a lot how I get up and shoot every day or almost every day and just because I love it. I have so much fun doing it. Days like today, when I think that I'd rather be at home sleeping or watching Netflix, I just remember to the last time I thought that and how I loved shooting, and then I go out and shoot. So it makes it a lot easier when you just have so much fun doing it. Tomorrow I'm doing a day in the life episode. I'm continuing that series. It's gonna be a day in the life of a landscape photographer. So if you're into landscape photography and you wonder what a day in a life looks like, I'm gonna take you through that tomorrow. So I'll see you guys on that episode and I'll catch you later. Peace.